How's it going everyone? We're here to check out what's popped up onto Auxiliary 1 branch and that's pre-staging. So this is the stuff goes before it gets onto staging branch and staging branch is before it gets onto the main game. To kind of just give you an idea if you don't really know how that works. But uh, this could mean it's near, it could mean it's farther than we think, it could be very close. I don't know. But one way or another, before we go ahead and take a look at the weapon racks, you'll see something new here. Nexuses. So server nexus is going to be a bunch of con interconnected servers that you can transfer back and forth between using uh, vehicles. Boats, helicopter, whatever, a ferry, which the ferry terminal did just pop up. So here we have it now. It does pop up. There's the dev nexus and it has its own screen here. And then uh, you have an option to either join the banana or apple team. So does that, or I see, I don't even know if these are even teams or not, but uh, you have to choose banana or apple. Um, so that's something, but uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, it's just a menu screen, but that is something a little bit closer. All right, so here we are and we have the weapon racks. Now the way these are gonna work guys, I believe is a separate DLC of its own, kind of like I would imagine like the neon signs, you know, it's kind of like a pack of signs more or less, but we've got a pack of weapon racks. I don't know what the pricing is gonna be or, or when it will come out. It is still on pre-staging, meaning it's not even on staging, so it could still be a while off. But if you can set up an Ox One server yourself, you can go ahead and check it out just like I did. Now it's gonna be a four piece set from what it looks like. You've got three wall ones. You've got the basic one. You've got the tall or horse, uh, yeah, tall, I think. And then you've got the uh, horizontal one. So I believe that's actually what they're called. We can actually literally just look. If you go into items, they're gonna be uh, literally <laughs> planters right now. This is how early they are, okay? So yeah, you've got weapon rack stand, which is the ground one, the uh, wide weapon rack. Okay, so that's the long one here on the far right is gonna be the wide one. And then we have the horizontal, which is the middle one. And uh, then we have the tall. Okay, so horizontal is basic. Then we've got tall, wide, and the ground one. So there you have it. Now, the three wall ones have electrical hookups for them. They have a power in and a pass through, but for some reason, this one doesn't seem to have a connection for me. I don't know why, but I do have these two hooked up and uh, we have a light switch, which we'll check them out. But let's take a look at how this works. So basically it's a way to display your skins, but it's also a way to quick pick up and equip a weapon directly into your hands. So, there you go. Instantly, you just press E or whatever your action key is, and there it is. Boom, 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 boom. Nice and quick, right? Now, you can choose where to put them. They don't rotate, but you can choose different heights and so forth. So, you can see these AKs are actually offset at different heights, and putting this one lower made space for the butcher knife up above. You can actually also put most tools. As you'll see, I can place the Gmod tool right there. Now, uh, right now they're also not repairable, so that's why this one's busted, uh, just ignore that. But as you can see, there's a lot more space on this one here. You have the various different spaces and so forth of where you can put them all along the entire wall. And then when it comes to the ground rack, you pretty much just look at it, and if there's a space, you've got space, and then you can just, you know, pull out whatever. Boom, there you go. So definitely a really nice thing but the other thing you'll notice is when you're looking at them it tells you the stats it tells you how much ammo's in it and what the condition of the item is if that kind of you know thing is available obviously a torch doesn't have ammo but it does have a condition so definitely a very cool looking thing it seems most weapons and tools will be able to hang on it i don't know if you can put anything else i know explosives do not seem to attach to it in any kind of way but most tools do i know some of the skins don't work like the lumberjack pack wasn't connecting up and uh, default hatchet for some reason wasn't working for me but again those are probably just in the works so for the light let's go ahead and kill our lights here and we'll take a look at what it looks like in the evening there we go boom and that just creates some serious atmosphere if you ask me I think it looks absolutely awesome, and uh, I'm pretty excited for that. And then look, 
the torch actually does have light on the wall and shows, so does the little screen on the Gmod gun. So if you do put things that have some sort of light or glow on them, they will light up or glow on the board. So I believe that goes with skins. There's no way to test actual workshop skins uh, for the staging branches, but hey, once this merges a little further, we can definitely try that out and see how glow works. But from that, it's a pretty good indication, I would say. But that does it, everyone. Sound off down in the comment section below if this is the kind of DLC you would like to buy and why. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay rusty.